Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. On this video, I will talk about a different topic. It's not about the product, the AV badge or in the soft features. It's about a tool that is an external tool, a Microsoft software, which is the, the Bagdayag tool uh, that we use to, to get diagnostics information from the software when something is not working as desired. Basically, when you have a project crash, so let's say that you have a project running and a project while it's running, it stops working and it might or might not um, show an error message saying that your project finished it because an unexpected error happened and it will, it will put a link a path, sorry, a path for a diagnostics uh, file. And it will tell you, okay, uh, send this file to your uh, software provider. That, that's the situation that we call a crash, but also a crash might not have this error message. It might be basically just the, the tasks that are uh, the ones that the runtime uses, which are the, uh, Studio Manager, the .exe, this one. Studio Manager, the .exe disappearing. And when that happens, you, you get this error message. This is another situation, right? The, the Studio Manager closes itself, but Beware, which is this module, is still running and it might return this error message. Um, so we need to know what's happening, what's causing this kind of errors. Um, when you contact support, usually uh, you support the support team will ask. Uh, by the way, you you can reach support by sending an email to edge that support uh, at aviva.com. So people will will people here working in the support team will ask for the dump files, which are inside the, the web web dump folder. So if we go to the, the break folder, I created a break here. Web dump. The support team will ask for these files, but the most important file here is a file that is not in this folder right now, which is a folder a file with DMP extension. When a crash occurs, a, a new file with DMP extension is created. This file um, size might be several megabytes, and it contains like a picture of the moment when the issue occurred. So we can check what was happening when the issue occurred. Um, to generate those files, you need to have enabled the quality feedback service options on the product uh, configuration. So if you, if you go to your project settings and go to preferences, you should, you, you should have these four options enabled. By default, you will have this, only the first one option enabled. You need to enable all this, and uh, that will make the software to generate the files for um, for the prig when the issue uh, comes back. But in case the issue is not generating the crash event is not generating uh, the down files that we need uh, to analyze the problem, you need to configure the the bug dial. So this tool can be downloaded from internet. You go to Google and search for the bar dire. The first result is always the Microsoft site where you can download the bar dire tool. And you can install it from there. Something important or something required in order to configure the bar dire is that if you open the back dial, you need to have the runtime, the runtime operating or the runtime running to, to allow it to find the, the processes that we need to, to, to monitor. So let's wait for it to complete the download and probably the file analysis. 
Okay, I open it and I can accept the terms, the license agreement, next, next, install, and the tool will be installed very quickly. After having the tool installed, uh, you will have new options here for the Baghdad. You will have this these programs installed. The one that we will be using is the Baghdad Diag Two collection. So you need to open it. Okay, uh, and we need to have the runtime running. So you might be running the the, the project as a service. Uh, you might be running the project running using the run startup that exe application, or you might be opening the i the studio the id and starting the runtime from it. On any case, uh, we need to have it running because uh, the back dial will be able to capture crash events, but for a, a specific process, a specific processes that the runtime uses. So we need the processes running uh, to make the back dial tool uh, find those processes. So I will select this option. By the way, the first option here should be always crash. You need to select crash, a specific process. And here we need to find the, the processes for Turing uh, uh, The first process, the most important is Studio Manager. Uh, almost all the crash events occurs here on Studio Manager.exe. So we need to select it. We need to go to exceptions and configure three uh, exception codes. First one is uh, access violation. So a crash might occur because a, an access violation occurs internally in the software. So here we need to configure also a, a legal instruction. The same thing, action type, by the way, for all the exceptions should be full user dump. And the third exception that might cause a crash on the software is a stack overflow. So it's like Stack Overflow and action time should be full user dump. So we have three these three exception codes and we need these three exceptions configured. We can click on close, save and close. Um, there is a situation where, where even with these exceptions configured, uh, you won't get diagnostics files when the, ne the next time the, the issue occurs. So that will be frustrating. Probably if that happens, the support team will ask you to, to check this and configure first change exceptions uh, options. So you can select here uh, to create a full user dump for um, a num number of dump files for non-configure and unconfigured exceptions. These are the configure exceptions and are the most common ones that the ones that we want to capture and uh, here, if we if the issue occurs because of an unconfigured exception, we need to configure this. But in normal situations, you don't need this, and this should be set to uh, none, and this should be set to zero. So with that configure, click on next, click on next, and click on finish. Can save this message, and a new rule will be created. In this case, the rule will be to monitor a process called studio manager.exe. We need to do exactly the same thing for other processes uh, that might be related to Indusoft or to Aviva Edge. So for instance, there is another process called vword.exe, which is this module here, this module that shows the, the screens, etc. that's called vword.exe. A crash might occur also there, so we need to configure the exceptions like uh, access violation, full user dump, like uh, a legal instruction, uh, full user dump for it, and also stack overflow, and full user dump for it also. Save and close, next, 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 and finish. Some other processes that you might uh, need to add to this list are, uh, let me put it here in the list, uh, not, but maybe mobile 
access task that you see, this is probably more useful when you are having issues with mobile access. Another process might be stadosbr.exe. This is the, the study database gateway is the process that handles the database com communication. So you are using databases uh, or you are communicating your project with databases. This process will be also running. Uh, so basically it's that if you are running the, pro the project uh, as a service, there will be another process called stdsvc.exe. You might want to configure also the same rules for the, this process because this is the, the service manager. So yeah, basically there's three and there's two, these are the basic ones. So that we need that configuration. The next time that the issue occurs, that the crash, internal crash occurs, the, this user dump count column will be, uh, will be increased. So here we, you will have a number different than zero. It might be one, two, three, I don't know. But every time that the crash occurs, we expect this number to, in, to increase. So you click here, here on the open logs button. You will go, you will find the three folders, the, sorry, the three rules that we created and each rule will have its own folder. So inside the folder, you will find the diagnostics files. Uh, the next time that the issue occurs, and if you have this user dump count uh, number different than zero, you should send the, this information to the Aviva support team. Everything that is, is inside in these folders will be useful to determine why the issue is occurring, why the, the software is crashing. In the same way, this is, this is basically for the full runtime for, for the SCADA version of the software, a full installation. Um, in the same way, you can do the same thing for, for an embedded installation. So in, in an embedded installation, it's a little bit different because, let me show you here, because the processes that we have running for embedded are not the same. We have bword.exe, that, that's the same thing. And we have also ceview.exe. So this is the process that is uh, the, let's say the, the equivalent of a um, studio manager.exe. So on embedded installations, you might want to monitor ceview.exe, uh, vword.exe, which is here. STADO, SBR, that exe if you are uh, if you are using databases. By the way, here I have STADO SBR35. Uh, that's wrong. The one that you should monitor is uh, is this one. STADO SBR. Okay, the same the same process exists also for embedded runtimes, but the most important is CEView.exe. So just for the sake of demonstration, I can, let me close this, exit here. You can install the back dial also, it's installed already, okay. Yeah, it's here. So we have the back dial to collection. We already configured the rules here. So rule for cview.exe or a rule for vword.exe. So here you can see, for instance, uh, it created when we run, we're running a test, it created 20 dump files. If we open the log files, the log folder, we go to cview.exe. We will see that uh, it created some, let me maximize this, some DMP files. These are the, the important ones, the ones that with DMP extension. So this contain internal information of the software that we can analyze to determine what's causing the problem. So yeah, you will see something like this. This is the diagnostics information that we need. So for instance, um, the issue is not a crash. Let's say that the issue is not the the studio manager collapsing, the studio manager closing itself, the viewer closing itself. But you, you can see that the uh, runtime is kind of frozen, it's paused, nothing is changing. Um, 
and uh, it's not a stopping. You, you can see the process is still running in, in the background. So let's say Studio Manager is still running there, but it's not, not, not responsive. So when that happens, that, that's another situation. That's something else that might happen to you. I hope it's not, uh, it doesn't happen to you. Uh, it's not so common, but it might happen. So in case you find something like that, like a frozen process, like a frozen viewer, you might want to go one more time to the back dia, create the rules that you need, and right click over the rule. And while the process is paused, while the process is hanging, is frozen, you need to click here on dump target processes and create a full user dump for that process. You can do it for a studio manager, you can do, you can do it for viewer.exe or any other process that might be configured here as a rule. What it will do is it will create a picture of the situation. So you go here to the open logs folder, you will have a misc folder here. This is a new folder. And inside you will have this manual dump generation. It will say manual dump. And this manual dump, which you can see is a little bit uh, its size is an, it's not so small. Uh, it contains a picture of studio manager.exe, its memory addresses, what it's doing. So we can determine what's causing that frozen or that, that hanging situation. So that's another, another option if you are not facing a crash, but a frozen, a process hanging situation. So I think that covers uh, the back diag. If you have any question, if you might want to know more about diagnostics on Aviva Edge, you can leave a comment in the sections in the comment sections below. Thanks for watching.